don't want that. We are clear the first year building floor through. The mist is dangerous. Let us find that incoming call and be done with it. not to activate my authority within the Academy grounds. It is much too risky. Using it only a few times ended up flooding the library with mist. It seems this place too is linked to the depths. They said it's this fine number connects to, enter to the, the singularity. Please. St the door appeared. Just leave me alone. Stop it! Go away! Is there something? All they're doing is screening people's deep sea. All they're doing is screening people's deep seated memories. Don't forget to silence your cell phones. Seeing these four four middle school. This document, the actors wait. If you see her, can you tell her that her friends are oh. hope everything works out for them? Forget to silence your cell phones. All they're doing is screening people's deep seated memories. Please. The door up. Just leave me. Friends? What are you talking about? I don't have any friends. Yeah, I don't need know. any either. I'm fine on my own. I don't care if I'm lonely. I don't need to have fun. It's less scary this way. Less painful. So oh. please, just leave me nah. alone. Has her perception been skewed? Or are her memories muddled? Please. The door appears to be shut from the inside. Just leave me alone. What's this picture? You. Oh. We already are friends. Hmm. All that stuff was from when we were back in middle school. There's no hmm. need to be afraid of everyone anymore. It's open. I have to get back to the AV room. It's open. The more painful the memory, the more vividly one recalls it. Human relationships are quite complex. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, 
Aufnahme. Crystal is an ideal? Yep. It is beautiful. I hope my own are even half as lovely. That is a difficult question. In part because the answer isn't very exciting. Let us leave it at that for now. If I may ask, did you have a dream? I had a dream in which a woman named Yoru spoke to me. It was through her that I learned about the demons and the other world. It was a few days before the anomalies began, if I remember correctly. I surmised as much. Perhaps the other Pact Bearers had the same dream as well. Regardless, that woman's identity is a mystery. Enough talk. of Sloth taught me the basics of deploying my magic gear. Let us shatter the ideal without delay. This is not just any chair. It is capable of both flotation and cannon fire. And it is fully equipped for rest and repose. Okay. This is a combat chair, a furnishing without peer. Here I go. Fruitless. Commencing. Come on, let me 
isn't it? How disappointing. me for grinding for grinding Subaru's thoughts. Yeah. His heart laid bare. Oh. Oh. He's clean now. Floor two. Clean. Hello. Welcome back. Hello, Hello. TSC. Denied. How amusing. Despite what 
what you may think. I'm a bit of a delinquent, considering I dropped out before the term was over. College was not uh. very interesting. So, Vice President, what's Kokoro doing here? I am a pact bearer. <sighs> what? Moreover, we are partners now. What? Not to worry. I am both safe and secure. I can assure I won't bite. <laughs> I do not intend to oppose you, nor do I mean harm to anyone else. The Vice President is merely going to assist me in defeating another Pact Bearer. How about... Oh, How about you I see. Me? So that's the kind of partner you meant. Makes sense. Hey, Kokoro, would you be willing to join the TSC? Huh. I don't mind, but only in a temporary capacity. Are you sure, Nozomi? She is a pack bearer, you know. She's the Vice President's partner. If he can trust her, then I can too. Besides, it'll be reassuring to have another Pact Bearer on our side. Even if we may have to end up going against each other someday. Not to worry. I am certain we won't have to fight. I do not desire to be a bother to anyone. I can shatter my ideals after my wish has been fulfilled. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the clueless comrade, this Kokoro. Who said that? Uh -huh. You've given another pact bearer your clearance. It should be no trouble to make my appearance. Hmm. <laughs> The authority of Sloth. A truly fiendish potential. And in the real world, even more consequential. I have already resolved to refrain from using my authority within the Academy. And who are you, exactly? Huh. You appear to be a stuffed animal. Behold, I am Vanitas, a being of the Abyss. The demon my brother made a pact with. Oh, and before you ask, yes, he is very cute. And no, you can't have him. Huh. He's all huh. mine. Huh. That is fine. I will be taking the vice president instead. Huh. Hey, you can't have him either. I'm just huh. letting you borrow him. That will suffice. Thank you. Oh. Are we really sure she won't, um, bite? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> About your precog analysis. It is my desire to avoid hurting others, as well as being hurt by anyone else. I wish for a future of idle peace where I can live in safety and security. Subaru's wish differs greatly from mine. I cannot overlook the way he hurts others for his own self-interest. You, however, are exactly the sense of security I prefer. I have a high opinion of you so far, but it would be even higher if you brought me some yakisoba bread. Why? Uh. I do. Actually, no. It would be more accurate to say I adore it. It is carbohydrates incarnate, a morsel of delectability born from the amalgamation of mankind's intellect. Yakisoba bread and books are all I need. A modest young woman such as myself could want for nothing more. Oh. 
Old me. Kokoro Sarugadai. To think you'd become a pact bearer. And you are? Shinya Yuda. Sora... Uh, Dean Jingu and Yugo's adopted son. My last name may be different, but I'm part of the Jingu family. I see. It's nice to meet you, Shinya. Oh, uh, same here. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wait, what am I saying? I'm a Jingu. <laughs> I need to defeat the pack bearer so we can keep the distortions under control. That means I can't go easy on you, even if everyone calls you a genius. I can't <laughs> overlook <laughs> any pack bearer. <sighs> when the time comes, I'll shatter your ideals. The safety of the Academy depends on it. Understood. I invite you to do so. And no matter how hard you try to stop... Hold on. What? Just like that? You really don't care? My wish is for safety and security. But an authority is neither safe nor secure. I am willing to shatter my ideals to void my pact. That's... How to put this? I didn't expect you to be so... willing. Do as you see fit. Uh... Sure. Incidentally, Shinya, were you to have an elemental affinity, it would be cute. I would even hazard to call you cat-coated. However, it's not that I think it looks bad on you, but why do you wear a collar? Did the Vice President put it on you? Uh, huh? Uh, now wait just a moment! Uh, Vice President, we're going to need to hold a hearing about this! Uh. If you are not interested in making someone else uh, wear a collar, does that mean you would prefer to wear the collar yourself? Uh, uh. Either way, it's against regulations. We have a dress code to uphold. Wait. You're into that kind of stuff? Uh, huh. <laughs> Never would have guessed. <laughs> Wait. Uh, uh, Shinya's wearing a choker. Not a collar. Uh, uh, a choker? Uh, it's a kind of necklace. Uh, that's too bad. The mental image it conjured was intriguing. Yo, Four Eyes. I hear you're a pack bearer too. Affirmative. I am the pact bearer of sloth. But that aside, it is rude to address one by appearance mm. upon meeting. You should call me by my name, Kokoro Sarugadai. <laughs> all right, all right. Sarugadai it is then. Name's Ryotaro Date, Pact Bearer of Gluttony. Good to meet you. A pleasure to meet you as well, Date. Hmm? Hmm. Date? You're a first year, right? That should be evident from the color of my ribbon. Yes. Yeah, thought so. What is it, Date? Is something bothering you? Nah. No. Just not used to being called that by anyone younger than me. <laughs> you refer to me by my surname. I am simply responding in kind. <laughs> Should I not have done so? <laughs> nah, do whatever you want. Very well. But should you ever dislike the way I address you, you need only say so. I can always give you a nickname. Big D, or Little Rio, for instance. Ah, mm. uh, thanks. But hard pass. Mm. Pity. Rio Taro it is th Nah. My ability's called Hostile Takeover. It lets me steal other people's power from my own. That way. I can gorge myself on as much power as I can handle. Perfect fit for gluttony, am I right? <sighs> I see. How very... impressive. 
Doesn't sound all that convincing when you're sighing up a storm. What are you so bummed about? Yakisoba bread. Uh huh? I expected that if your ability were food related, you might be able to procure some for me. Uh, hey, Mr. VP. This chick playing with a full deck or. You pulling my leg here? Uh -huh. You should, as they say, check yourself, Ryotaro. Uh. The ability my authority of sloth grants me is nothing less than remarkable. Precog analysis. With it, I am able to know what path will lead to the future I seek. Hmm. Victory, wealth, fame. All of it is obtainable so long as I wish for it. It is the superlative power by far. Gotta admit, it sounds pretty damn sweet. That being said, I will only utilize it in the other world, so as not to further amplify the distortions in the Academy. Safety and security are my top priorities. Seriously? Why the hell did you even bother becoming a pack bearer then? You wouldn't have made a pact with a monarch unless you had a wish to grant. My wish is to neither hurt nor be hurt by anyone, to live in a gentle world of peace and quiet. Huh? I wish to indulge in my indolence with a book in one hand and yakisoba bread in the other. Huh. What can I say, Mr. VP? Chick's a lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about fictional fables? Nothing. I thought we could have your desires unfurled through a fairy tale told in a fantasy world. Oh. An ingenious idea, isn't it? No. In medieval Europe where we lay our scene, you serve as a knight for your king and queen. The castle is holding a banquet of sorts for the noblemen, knights. And royal courts. Your uncle, a duke, says the banquet was planned to decide who will take the fair princess's hand. Choose wisely in this trial by fire, for through them you'll lay bare your desire. The princess is perfect, attractive, and kind. In secret, for her heart, you've always pined. What would you do? Your uncle says you'll need to prove to the king that you're worthy to offer his daughter a ring. He says, after muttering over your rash disposition, oh, no. your uncle, the duke, offers two propositions. At once you're beset by an armed group in black. A guard shouts a traitor, let them in. The enemy storms in with no end in sight. His majesty's wounded. You manage to flee the soldiers. The princess follows suit. She leads you to the royal family's secret escape route. A mystic arcane circle keeps the entrance tight and sealed. You must speak the magic numbers. Only then will it yield. One number. The door what? remains closed and you find yourself gored by an enemy soldier who snuck up with their sword. You collapse from the shock. Your body grows Anymore. stark. <laughs> it seems you have met with a terrible doom. Your fleeting emotions led straight to your tomb. Desires and feelings give egos their form. Their powers grant shelter from any storm. But depending on them and nothing more does not guarantee a good future in store. I uh, no, no. use them or keep them at bay. Take care your own future doesn't end the same way. Hey. Things seem to be going pretty well with Kokoro. Nah, bro. I always thought she was this impossible to please genius. But she's actually pretty kind and laid back. Not to mention strange. I don't know if I buy all that stuff about her being safe and secure. Oh, right. I 
been looking into the first years. And apparently, they've got a serious bullying problem. An entire class ganged up on one person, pulling prank after prank and spreading rumors. There was some violence too, I heard. Even a case of blackmail. A student from another class got fed up and told a teacher about it. But the thing is, the victim denied being bullied in the first place. So officially, nothing was ever recorded. But after that, the bullying just ended up getting even worse. Why would anyone ever protect the people harassing them? To be honest, I don't have any hard evidence for this. Just rumors. But if it really is true... Never. Gosh, have you ever heard anything no. so sad? No. Nah, bro. Okay. Wait. Not yet. Let's go here. Yo. Yo. What's this? You got a new girl? Break up with the prez already? You aren't? Well, that's a buzz kill. Time waits for no one, you know. You gotta enjoy your youth while you have it. Hello, nah, bro. I am Kokoro Sarugadai. I have been granted permission to borrow the Vice President for a bit. I assure you, Dr. Kakeru, we are capable of separating business from pleasure. As such, there will be no hindrance to the President's relationship with him. Safety and security is my creed. There is no need to worry. Huh. And what? you're fine with that? Uh, These yeah. are some pretty complex relationships you got going on here, Vice Prez. Rub around with all the gals you want, but take it from me. You gotta know when and where to do it. Why? Oh my god. Huh. <laughs> oh, I know. I believe you. So, what's going on between you and Specs, Vice Press? The President told me it would be alright to talk to you about this. As such, I will answer honestly. I am the Pact Bearer of Sloth. My authority is the power of precog analysis. It informs me of how to reach the future I seek. <clears throat> you need not worry. I do not intend to oppose the TSC. I am merely borrowing the Vice President's aid to defeat another Pact Bearer. And you want to be, what was it, safe and secure? Affirmative. I have no intentions of using my authority, apart from in the other world. <laughs> Sounds good to me, as long as you're on our side. It's kind of a waste not using your power here in the Academy, but I guess there'd be more cons than pros. If you used your precog analysis on campus, you could end up airing all my dirty laundry. How admirable. What is? I wasn't aware you even had a sense of shame, Dr. Kakeru. Oh yeah? You think you got me all figured out already, eh? Ah, oh, bro. Well. Hello. Okay. I will. I will see you guys on the next morning.